Calorimetry. There are two parts to this experiment. In part one, the objective is that the enthalpy of solution of sodium hydroxide is measured. In part two, the enthalpy of neutralization of an aqueous solution of sodium hydroxide by hydrochloric acid is measured. Assemble the coffee cup calorimeter. Weigh the empty calorimeter, which is made up of two cups, a lid, and the stirrer on an analytical balance. You will have to bend the stirrer to fit the calorimeter in the balance. Make sure nothing touches the inside of the balance. Record the exact mass on the data sheet. Make sure the temperature sensor is connected. Pass the temperature probe through one of the holes in the cover of the calorimeter and make sure to immerse the tip of the probe in the water. Clamp the probe in place. Take between 35 and 40 sodium hydroxide pellets with a spatula. Add the pellets of sodium hydroxide quickly to the contents of the calorimeter, cover it, and start stirring. Continue stirring for the entire duration of the experiment. Transfer the contents of the calorimeter to a clean, dry, 250 milliliter beaker and immerse the beaker in an ice bath to cool the solution back to the original water temperature. Once the sodium hydroxide solution has cooled back down to room temperature, Transfer it back to the calorimeter and weigh the apparatus. Record the exact mass. 
Do not discard the contents of the calorimeter as it will be used in part two. Obtain 50 milliliters of hydrochloric acid solution using a graduated cylinder. The difference between the temperatures of the hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide solutions should not exceed 2 degrees Celsius. When you're ready to add the hydrochloric acid solution to the sodium hydroxide solution, make sure to collect data for 10 seconds of just the sodium hydroxide solution. Then add the hydrochloric acid to the calorimeter Cover the calorimeter quickly and immediately begin stirring. Do a final weighing of your apparatus. Be sure to follow all the instructions described in your lab manual on how to use the LogerPro program. The program is used to collect and analyze your data.